you only got two choices. You take the blue pill and you can continue in this illusion and you can serve Lucifer and the beast system and receive the mark of the beast and you'll be able to buy and sell and you'll be able to live a life where you worship the beast and you're controlled by the beast. Or you could take the, the red pill and accept the word of God in your heart that will program you and you can live in the kingdom of God and you can live in joy, in victory, in health and in strength. And you can live in eternity with God. It is your choice. It is a choice. You either take the mark of the beast, you follow Lucifer and the devils of darkness and you lose your soul and you spend eternity in hell or you choose God's way. The choice is up to you. And in this video, I'm going to help you make that decision. We're going to get deep in the word, how you can program your mind. You can program your mind with the word of God. We ain't a metric for real. I didn't, I didn't want to be dramatic, but I had to do that. But the point of the matter is we live in a matrix. Whether you believe it or not, this whole world is a system. You know, the, the scripture talk about um, how the God of this world, Lucifer is the God of this world. This whole system is a matrix. It's been designed, fabricated, and you have to renew your mind. That's why the, 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 uh, the scriptures, the Bible, the word of God is given to us so that we can unplug from the matrix. I mean, I'm giving reps. I, I mean, if you have not watched the movie, so this might not make sense to you. But this, this, these options, you know, people live this illusion. They think in the whole, what, what you see is what it is. They're living in this fantasy land and like, oh yeah, the hell does not exist. Heaven does not exist. We just enjoy life here. And they're in, plugged into entertainment, plugged into, their mind is being controlled. If you don't know your mind is being controlled by TV, your mind is controlled by music, what you watch, what you read, what you study, what, what you in school. I mean, from a young age, kids go to school. Look, look at the programming. This is the matrix. Really, whether you like it or not, we're in the matrix. But it depends which matrix do you believe, which matrix are you in? From school, like so you go to school, from school, kindergarten, whatever, you you control a young mind, you're fed thoughts. You're fed thoughts on your mind. What should, what should you think? And who, who's feeding your thought? These thoughts? Men that wrote books on history uh, in different ways. It doesn't matter if you, what you think is right or not. There's a programming of the matrix. So you program from a young age and then you go to high school. You say, oh yeah, I'm super intelligent. You go in there. The programming intensifies in high school. More programming, more programming, how you should think about life. How you should think about God. How you should be thinking about this world. Your mind is bombarded. And if you even if you decide like or if you decide to to be like oh yeah I feel now I need to go to to college oh the program even increases in college oh yeah I'm gonna study I'm gonna study this kind of course whatever and you're programmed your mind is being programmed and you're watching Hollywood Hollywood is 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 giving you subliminal messages you know what's the uh, what's the crazy thing about this if you want to know what this Satanists and Luciferians want to do watch movies. <laughs> They literally tell you their agenda of movies. You know, they'll say it's fiction, but it is not fiction. Hollywood, if you really want to know what these Luciferians think about the world and what they think about uh, uh, everything, watch their movies. They literally t put it in their movies. What do they think about the world? What do they think about God? They put it in their movies. And there's a programming going on young minds to, to worship Lucifer. You might think, how is they getting me to worship Lucifer? They're slowly programming you, programming you, put, putting these things, this image in your mind, and then you're listening to music. They're putting all this in the music. So you got people walking around thinking they're free. They have freedom of thoughts. They're thinking they have their own thoughts, but it is not their thoughts. You have thoughts that are put in you from a young age, from movies, from parents who are, who are under the matrix too. So you have to unplug from the matrix because the scripture talk about the god of this world is lucifer let me show you the scripture because i don't want to be like what i'm just talking about let me show you this let me show you this so i'm reading the book of second corinthians chapter 4 verse 3 it says but if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost the ones are in the matrix. If the gospel is hid, you talk about people, you talk about Jesus, they don't understand. It's like, oh, I don't understand what you're talking about. They're plugged in the matrix. They can't understand you. Why can't they understand? In whom the God of this world, 
Lucifer has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine. So people in this world, um, they're plugged into this matrix because Lucifer controls music. He has control what they watch through Hollywood. He's now indo indoctrinated. That's a key word, indoctrinated. It's important. Your kids. So people spend all this money taking their kids to college, thinking they're learning something. But in, in the fact of the matter is you, you're, you're paying for their programming so that they can be indoctrinated into this matrix. So kids are programmed to think a certain way about gender, about sexuality. They're, they're taught their misinformation. They're taught not to love their self, themselves, their bodies, or how they look. You say, no, uh, little Jimmy wants to be like a little Jimmy now, wants to be a girl. It's okay. Little Jimmy is five years old. You're telling little Jimmy to make up decision. Why? Because there's a programming. There's a matrix going on. Your kids are under attack. You are under attack. The music you listen to, the, what you're watching, you're under a program. You might be thinking, oh, yeah, I'm not programmed. No, you're in, you're, you're in a matrix. You're in a matrix. And this is what, um, if you have not watched that movie, go watch it. I know you might be thinking, how is that crazy? No, it, it, I, I told you, the way you understand this world and this Luciferians, watch their movies. They, this, is, this is what they do. This is their witchcraft. Their version of witchcraft. They have to say what they have to do for it to work. So for them to do something, they have to put it out. And they put it out in movies and they'll call it fiction. It is not fiction. It's reality. Life is spiritual. Life is so spiritual. So you have a choice. You either going to choose, you either can unplug, and it, it is a tough job to unplug someone from the matrix. As you can watch that movie, that movie has spiritual truths. Because he says, I just read it to you. The people that are under the matrix are under an illusion. They are blinded by Lucifer. He says, if a God, if God must be hid, it is hidden to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world has blinded their minds. They can't understand. You tell them about Jesus, they say, what are you talking about? I was like, no, yeah, I'm, I'm atheist. I don't believe in God. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, yeah, I believe in, in ancestors and, and Egyptology. And they're thinking they're wise. But they're under the matrix. They're under control of the devil. They're under the control of the devil. And that's why you have, the word of God is the only thing that can unplug them. So it's, it's a decision you have to make. You can either choose to remain under this matrix and control under the, the devil, but I can I can guarantee you this is how he ends up, right? So it starts from school. Your program, all this is leading to to a, to a purpose to think in a certain way. High school program in a certain way. Hollywood through music program in a certain way. Indoctrination, all this is leading somewhere to worship the beast. That's the Antichrist, and these are the last days, and this is where we're heading to, to accept his mark. Because you have been programmed, oh yeah, the devil is cool. Ha 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 ha. The, the devil is the angel of light. Because these, these Luciferians believe the devil is actually God. You know, this is what they think. And they put those indoctrinations in the programs, in their movies. Uh, they put it in their movies. So you need to break away from this matrix. Because if you don't, you are heading to worship the beast. And if you worship the beast, if you worship the beast, this is your destination. You will end up in hell. I'm sorry. I don't have to be political correct here. I'm just telling you the reality of the matter. You will end up in hell. Matter of fact, not even hell, the lake of fire. So who would have thought you, you send your kids innocently to school, but all the while they were just being led somewhere through high school. All that program is leading somewhere. It's not just for, or through their movies they watch. Oh, yeah, let's go to watch a movie. Through the music they listen to. It's all leading somewhere. They're just being indoctrinated. Oh, yeah, let me take the kid. The whole purpose was to worship the beast and then they receive the mark and then they end up in hell and then they end up in the lake of fire for eternity. It is serious. You need to come out the programming before it's too late. And you accept God's programming because Lucifer has a programming. God has a programming. You need to program your mind with the word and the word of God is what breaks you from this matrix of the devil and you become in the matrix of God, because God has his system, God has his world and way of thinking, his kingdom, and only his word can remove you from Lucifer's programming, and you control your mind with the word, you put the word in your heart, it controls your thoughts, you think only the things of God, because when God puts his word in you, you can be like him, you can act like God, you can think like God, 
So this is important. And this is what I'm going to study today. We're going to do a, look, a quick Bible study. I want to show you this in the scripture, how you can program your mind with the word and escape the matrix, the matrix of Lucifer, because this whole world is under the control. It says the God of this world. That means the God of this system, the music system, the school system, what you is controlled by Lucifer. You might think you have your own thoughts. You come, you came up with an idea. 99% of the time, the ideas you have, they're not yours. They're under an influence. So you rather put the right influence in you. You can have the influence of God and that's through programming your mind. So let's, let's get into what I use a, a daily devotional called Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris. I'll probably, um, I'll put the link in the description right there. And this is why I read, uh, I read this to you every single day. It's, it's, it's for a reason. I want to program your mind. The word of God wants to program your mind. Just like Lucifer wants to program your mind, the word of God wants to program your mind. So yeah, like, like I said, God wants to program your mind. And that's why we study the word. So today's topic, we're talking about program your mind. Indoctrinate, uh, put, the, uh, put the matrix of God in you. Not the, not the devil's world. No, be plugged in into God's world. You know, the theme scripture says, in, Pro, in the book of Proverbs chapter 7, verse 2 to 3 says, Keep my commandment. These are the words of God. Live and live. My law as an apple of thine eye. Bind them upon thy fingers. Write them upon the table of thy heart. This is a programming. God wants you to escape the matrix. And you want, the way you can escape it is through his word. He says, put your word in your heart. Put my word in your heart. Tie it around your heart. Write it in your heart. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 to 17. Amplifier says, every scripture is God breathed, given by, given by his inspiration and profitable. So that the man of God may be complete, proficient, well fitted, thoroughly equipped for every good work. It is impossible for anyone whose life is regulated and propelled by the word to fail or to be disadvantaged in life. The word programs you to an absolute success. You are under control and an influence. When you put the word in you, it, it directs your thoughts. You think only the thoughts of God. You're under God's programming, not under Lucifer's matrix. You break out of it and you receive the word that controls you, right? If you, if you sow a corn seed, for example, you're not going to have a harvest of mangoes or apples or oranges. The reason is the seed was programmed to reproduce its kind. Also, you must have heard of computer programming, creating a sequence of instructions to enable the computer to do something. It is similar to how God's word functions as well. It is the mystery of writing. God invented writing. Writing is about one thing, programming. That's why we read the scriptures. They were written for a reason. Those are codes. So that when we take those codes in us, we start working, it's like files. When you download files in your computer and execute those files, it just starts working, the program starts working. You don't have to start struggling because you have downloaded those files, but you need to download the files. You, you can't run Photoshop on your, on your computer unless you have the program in you. You can say, oh, let me just start design, let me start having Photoshop. No, you have to download the program. And when, once you download it and execute it, it opens Photoshop and you can use it. So when you need the word in you, download the word in you to program in you. And when and your and your spirit can execute those files, and the files are files of health are executed, files of prosperity are executed, files of victory become executed. This is amazing. When God talks to you, when his word comes to you, what he seeks is to write the program and have it stored in your heart which you can further process because of who he has made you in the book of psalm chapter 82 verse 6 says you are gods and all of you are the children of most high he created creators and you are an innovator and this is what we're talking about this is amazing so it's a download you you have the word of god written these are codes man did not invent writing god was writing from from ages from moses when he gave him the commandments he was writing so those words are downloads he downloads you downloads the word in your heart i'm gonna use a heart to represent your heart but i'm not i don't mean it's not a physical heart it's your spirit but just to give you an instruction so you download the word the written word, the files in you and your heart is designed to create your heart is like a manufacturing center it manufactures it where it manufactures the word it produces it's like the the earth the ground when you put the seed in the ground you don't have to say the ground, hey ground, please ground, 
I'm about to sow corn seed. Please, can you produce corn seed? We are begging you. The ground is under command to produce when it's something is sown in it. Even weeds produce. But when you put the right words, the girl, your, your heart is like soil. It's like ground. Right? So it's the soil. When you sow the word and the files are downloaded, production starts. It starts producing. When you download the files of health, you it produces health in your system. When you download the files of prosperity, you start walking in prosperity because that's what the heart does. Your heart produces what you sow. It, it produces for you. I want to show you this actually. Let me show you this. Uh, so yeah, let me show you guys programming to escape the matrix. So I'm reading the book of Proverbs chapter 4 and uh, verse 20. He says, my son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thy eyes, right? Keep them in the midst of thy heart. This is a divine programming. For they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. This is the matrix of God. If you find these words, you program you for health. He says it will program you for health and, 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 and life. And he says, keep thy heart with all diligence from out of it are the issues of life. That means protect your heart. He's saying protect your heart. Out of your heart is where you produce life. Is where you produce whatever you put in, in there. Like when you put his words, like I said, your heart is the soil, is the ground. When you put the words of health, the words of prosperity, they will produce for you. But if you put the wrong words or the matrix that you've been programmed by the devil, it will produce those demonic things, those sickness, disease, poverty, because that's what is in the matrix. But if you put the words in you, out of it are the issues of life. Let me let me read the... Um, Let's read the amplified version for that because that kind of put it in a in a little in a better way. So Proverbs 4:23 says, Let them not depart from your sight. Keep them in the center of your heart for their life to those that find them in healing and health to all your flesh. You want to walk in health? Hide the word in you. Put the word in you. Lay up the word in you. Put it in you. Program your mind. Program your heart. It says, keep and guard your heart with all vigilance. Above all that you got, for out of it are the springs of life. Out of your heart, it is the manufacturing center where you produce health, where you produce prosperity, where you produce joy. When the word comes in you, you execute those files and they produce for you what they talk about. I hope that makes sense. This is huge. This is some powerful stuff I'm, 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 I'm telling you right now. We are like God. We create. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17 says, But ye that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. He has brought you into union with himself and into oneness of, and into his class of being. No wonder Jesus re reiterated the words we read in Psalm 82, verse 6, in John chapter 10, verse 34. Is it not written in your law, I said you are gods? There's another beautiful one in James chapter 1, verse 18. Of his own will begot he, he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of this creature. How powerful it is. So we don't belong to this class. When you become a Christian and born again, you have escaped the matrix. This is what exactly happens. When you become born again, you leave the matrix. This is the matrix wherever I just showed you, where everyone is programmed. And a lot of people, though they have escaped the matrix and they're Christians, they're in God's kingdom, they still have the thinkings of the matrix because they're plugged in into their movies, into their words, into their programming. But you have to program your mind, renew your mind and escape the matrix. You have escaped it, but now your mind has to be renewed. You need to renew your mind. Don't think like they think. I need to share another scripture. Oh, Lord, I'm showing a lot of scriptures, man. So many scriptures. I hope you're writing these scriptures down. Uh, so I am reading the book of Romans chapter 12. Write the scriptures down. Number 2. It says, verse 2. Romans 12, chapter 2. Do not be conformed to this world, to this age, to this matrix. This is what he's saying. This Don't be, don't allow to be controlled by this world. Fashioned after and adapted to his external superficial customs. But be transformed, changed 
by the entire renewal of your mind. That's the program of your mind. By his new ideals and his new attitude, so that you may prove for yourself what is the good, acceptable, perfect will of God, and what everything that's good. Exactly, it says, don't conform to their ideas, don't conform to the way they think, don't think how they think. Renew your mind, leave the matrix, don't be plugged in, don't be plugged in. Renew your mind. That's what we're talking about here. And the most beautiful thing. This is even a big topic. We're talking about we've been created in God's class of being. So we are creators. We are like God. So we think like him. You are you are the God kind of man. The first and the best. The most sublime of his creatures. Hallelujah. Being born again, you are brought into union with him. You are the comrade of the heavenly path and glory. Oh, Lord. This is too huge. I don't think I have time to, 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 to go deep in it. But that's huge. Jesus said, I have said you are gods. These are men. Oh, God, man. God, the God kind of man. You know this. Oh, do I do I have time? These two. Oh, we are gods. We are gods. We are gods. We are gods. Maybe I might have to do a separate video for this. I might have to do a separate video because I don't think I can cover all of this. But there, there are different kinds of men. Different kinds of men in this world. Different type of human beings. Actually, not even human beings. Different kind of men. So you have the first man. Oh man, Adam, that every human being came from. So humans, you call them athletes. And then you got another kind of man, Christians. Christians are not just ordinary human beings. These are new creatures. These are cre new creations. These are, these are ones that are born after God. That's what you're talking about. We are the God, God kind of man, God men. Because you are born, these are like, oh man. I'm gonna have to leave this for here now because uh, this, this is gonna be big. But I'm gonna share more of these videos soon. But I just want you, I want you to, to think about when you're in a matrix, you can't, you can't get these thoughts. <laughs> You'll be told you're just, no, we're just trying to, we're just, we're just ordinary people, just trying to make it. But when you renew your mind and the word of God is telling you who you are, because no, no, no human book can tell you who you are. No biology, no books you read in biology, no books you read in history going to tell your origin. Oh, yeah, I want to discover where you're from. No human book, no history books will tell you who you really are. Only the word of God can define who you are. So, sorry about that. So only the word of God can define who you are. And I have so much to say, but, but. I might have to leave it for now because it's, it's, it might go too deep. But I got so many videos coming on. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to let you know about it. But let's take this confession. Let's take this confession together. I want you to say this. You know, we're talking about words. Words are so important. So I want you to say this. I walk in the truth and realities of God's eternal word. I'm the God kind of man because I have the life and nature of God in my spirit. I function with precision and utmost proficiency excellence and perfection i'm a creator a distributor a sharer of eternal blessings i rule and reign in this life prevailing gloriously by the power of the holy ghost amen you can study further what we just discussed just write the scriptures down or take a screenshot deuteronomy oh go read deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 18 it talks about hiding the word in you proverbs chapter 6 verse 20 21 powerful scriptures if you ever want to know how to study a bible for a whole year Pick a plan that works for you. You can cover the whole Bible in two years and one year. So pick a plan that applies to you. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're facing. But I know God is a miraculous God. And he can He answers prayers. So no matter what you're facing, no matter the situation, there could be a turnaround. God, we, we are not ordinary. We have the name of Jesus that can change anything. But before I pray for you, let me first pray for people that want to escape the matrix. If you're not a Christian, you have been plugged into this matrix. I want to offer you the, the other pill for you to leave the matrix. That is the, the pill to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You know, this is the only way you can escape the matrix. You don't escape the matrix by saying, I'm escaping it. No. <laughs> for you to be to escape somewhere, someone has to come and rescue. Someone that's powerful than whoever is holds you in captive. But Jesus was more powerful than anyone. That's why he died. He came. He died for all the whole world's sin and rescued humanity from the, the clutches of the devil. And he says, receive this escape. Receive this salvation. 
And all you have to do is believe he died for you on our cross. Believe God raised him from the dead. Accept him as your Lord now. That's how you escape. That's how you receive this eternal life. That's how you become a God kind of man. You're no longer human now. You become a new type of human being. This is big. This is huge. And I want you to say this prayer so that you can receive salvation for your soul. So just say this after me. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Amen. Simple as that. You have escaped. You have escaped from the power of darkness and you have been moved into God's kingdom of light. And now you have to program your mind. Deprogram all the matrix programs you had and receive God's programming. Subscribe to this channel. I have so many videos that will help you. That will build your faith super strong. So start from here. And I want to pray for everyone. So no matter what you're going through, I want to pray with you. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the hand of blessing will be upon you and your family. No matter what you're going through, the Spirit of God helps you come out of it victoriously. If anyone is sick, if you're sick, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you may be made well, be made whole from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. I rebuke that sickness. I rebuke that infirmity. I command those devils of sickness, those devils of paralysis, those devils of infirmity to leave you now. You devils of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus, I cast you out. Go! Be healed from the top of your head, from the tips of your toes. Be made whole. Be made whole. Health for your loved one. Healing for your loved ones. In the mighty name of Jesus, the healing power of God flows through your home, flows through your house. Be made well. Be made well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I pray for anyone that's going through financial problems, financial challenges, that the supply of God will be made available unto you. The Lord will supply every single one of your needs according to his riches in glory. You will not lack you will not go without miraculous supply, miraculous provision. In the mighty name of Jesus, open doors of blessing, new jobs, new businesses, new opportunities come your way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Wow, wow, wow. That's amazing. Congratulations. The, believe the word of God. The word of God works. And that prayer has been answered. Thank God and celebrate. It's a new day. It's a new beginning. So thank you once again for watching. Do me a favor. Like this video so that it can spread around. Put in the comment section, I choose Jesus. I've escaped the matrix. Just put in the comment section, I choose Jesus. You refuse to be part of this demonic matrix, but you have chosen to belong to the kingdom of God's son. And that's the most important thing. So one, thank you once again for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Until tomorrow, it's been your boy Mundus. Be victorious and prosperous in all. God bless you.